it's nice to meet you all. Um, I am going to talk to you today about growth. Uh, and from the Envision perspective, it's not growth by design, it's actually growth equals design. And we approach growth at Envision with a design thinking mindset. And so I'm going to tell you a little bit about how we did that, why we did that, and what the results of that were for us on the journey from 250,000 users to 2.5 million users, which is where we are today. As you know, I'm Claire. It's nice to meet you all. Um, I have led content at Envision uh, and marketing at Envision for about two and a half years now. During that time, we've grown 10x, and we've done pretty substantial stuff on the revenue side, which I'm not allowed to talk about. <laughs> However, uh, we've done this in a really atypical way. During this time, we've had no traditional growth programs. And when you think of a growth program or a growth marketing program, you normally think of paid ads, you think of Google Display, you think of a whole bunch of other stuff that we think is bullshit <laughs> and turned a bunch of it off. We used a lot of it. We found it was really ROI negative, and so we stopped using it. Um, and our approach to date has really been about driving sticky, sustainable growth instead of vanity growth. And so vanity growth means we can sign people up all day on keywords that mean nothing to them. Um, but then they churn out, and we have really unhappy churn customers, which is not what you want in the marketplace. And so because we, we kept running up against this problem, we found that we needed to really approach this in a completely different way. And so we turned off all these traditional growth programs, and we, we really started with a, with a question. How do we equip designers with the tools they need to, become, to design better products, become better designers, and where do we fit naturally into that equation? So what that really means is being solution-oriented versus campaign-oriented. Lots of marketing programs or growth programs are very campaign-oriented. They're ephemeral. They're time-based. For us, we really care more about a solution, providing value to our user, and making the time to value from when a person converts to when they find value in whatever they're converting on to be basically nothing. We want someone to experience value immediately. As soon as they interact with the Envision brand, they should be deriving value in some way. So our question is, this is a very common design thinking problem. What job does my, does my user need to do right now? And how can I create the most appropriate solution for that problem or that job right now? Same thing for marketing, same problem. Uh, the only addition is what is the most ideal medium to also engage with that person? It's not necessarily with a brand property. It could be a whole host of things. And we actually leaned into this idea instead of thinking that everything needs to lead back to Envision as we're thinking about our growth problem. So we build conversion products. We don't build a funnel. Um, and we build products that complement key actions in a person's a potential user's life cycle from awareness all the way down to the platform. And we think of it is a funnel, but it's not a marketing funnel. It's a action-based funnel. And so we have a whole bunch of products. We have, we're the king of the sub-brand. You probably don't actually know this, but we have like 50 sub-brands. <laughs> and uh, we work on maintaining them and providing value to our user at every step of that journey. It looks kind of like this. Um, at the top of the funnel, you've got awareness products, things that are easily, easily digestible, provide educational or emotional value. Um, the next step of the funnel is a workflow product, something that you can actually work with every single day that doesn't actually change how you do your job, but maybe makes it a little bit better, a little more delightful, uh, just slightly more efficient, anything in that kind of variety. Uh, and then we have a bridge product, something that tangibly valuable, but works and is improved by the Envision product set. And then we have, obviously, we have a lowest point of friction point on the conversion side at that bridge level. And then Envision platform products are pretty self-explanatory. However, we don't really differentiate between Envision platform products and any other product that we make. We think of marketing as an extension of the product. It's not necessarily marketing. We don't think about campaigns. We think about products. So we do, this, we do it this way for a number of reasons, uh, which I mentioned earlier, that traditional growth programs just don't work for us. So we had to think differently about our problem. Um, we have found while we've been doing this that the, the more good products we make, the more of our product library is understood to be good, which is excellent. You go see Coen Brother movies because you really like Fargo, etc. <laughs> um, campaigns are also ephemeral. They're not 
they're not sticky. You, you, inter, you engage with a campaign once or any kind of asset that's campaign based, like an ebook, et cetera, you download, maybe read, probably not. <laughs> and products that are really, really valuable to you, you use again and again and again. And additionally, products are conversion points for growth on their own. They don't need any maintenance, and we can build in more growth tactics in hidden areas that you maybe not expect or you don't feel is weird or gross. And so for us, the most effective growth tactics are invisible. They're built into an experience that provides you so much value, so much delight, that it feels good to share it, to refer people, to do a whole bunch of more traditional growth things that we build into a greater experience and are actually tied directly to the job you have to do at any point in time as a designer. So I have some examples. Um, this is, a, this is the beginning of any marketing project for Envision. We actually, we actually build user flows for marketing experiences. We tie them to our existing product set. And this one in particular is a snapshot of a product that we built called Envision Marketplace. For us, this is an awareness product. It's an awareness layer product. Uh, it's a, a place where you can go and find exclusively designed products by designers that you really, really care about that you can't get anywhere else. It's actually pretty cool. However, this is not really Envision branded at all. This is just a new place where you can actually find things that you want, derive value immediately, and there are a whole bunch of places to build growth into this. So there are, I don't, you may not be able to see it very well, unfortunately, it's kind of small, but there are ways that you can take a product and you can use it for growth in a way that's not, It's not, I, I say gross a lot. It's not a gross way to actually, feel, to actually build growth into your product or a viral loop into your product. So we've actually built viral loops into these products where um, if you, instead of buying the shirt, you can win it. All you have to do to win it is tweet it. And that expands the reach of this product by substantial, substantial, substantial amount. And so the results of this specific product were 260,000 net new acquisitions on the product side and 72 enterprise opportunities for our product valued at about $300,000. And this, what's really special about this is it requires no maintenance. There are no campaigns that we build around this. We just let it, we set it and forget it, and it works on its own. Another example is a UI kit. This is a bridge layer product. And most people think that UI kits are really pretty junior, but in real life, it's a great way for people to immediately grab some assets that they don't even have to build themselves, immediately make a prototype out of them that explains an idea that they're working on. And these are incredibly easily repeatable for us. We can stand one of these up in a few days. And the bridge, this is the important part, is where the, the most effective place to convert someone or ask for them to consider the Envision product is here. Because it's, a, it's an asset that is directly related to what they're trying to accomplish, and it is actually benefited by the Envision set of features. So it's very easy for us to go from this bridge product to Envision user. And so this experience that we added to all of these UI kits that we produce under sub-brands and distribute for free to the community is uh, resulted in 357 net new total acquisitions, and when we turned this new um, product sign up flow on, we actually lifted our conversion by 320%, which is pretty substantial. And it's not really anything revolutionary, it's just approaching this problem from a design thinking user experience perspective. So that's what I think with regard to growth and design. So I would love to take questions if we have any.